then we will move on to agenda item number one, uh, which is Applicant Academia Sinica Institute of Astronomy and Astrophysics, PL-SPP-2022-000025. Uh, application for a special permit for the temporary operation of an array of 10 satellite dishes and a 50 foot by 50 foot dipole antenna array and related improvements to conduct research on fast radio bursts or FRBs on an approximately 2.0 acre of a larger 10.7 acre property in the state land use agricultural district. The subject property is located at approximately 1,375 feet southeast Makai of the Wood Valley Road, Makakupu Road intersection, Ka'ala'ala, -ala, Ka Pala Pala, Ka'u, Hawaii. TMK 39-6-011, parcel number seven, a portion of. Um, please note that this agenda item, uh, Commissioners Cross and Daniele have expressed a conflict of interest and are recused um, themselves from this item. Therefore, we do not have um, quorum to proceed with this agenda item and it will be heard at a later um, commission hearing. However, I will be taking public testimony for this item. Thank you, sir. Well, thank you all for your time in directing this meeting. Um, this has been an unfortunate presentation to our community. Uh, I am a resident uh, up in Wood Valley, and it seems it's been my mission to represent other folks who don't have the technological um, uh, education in order to gather materials, get notarized, and apply a CCDH for something like this through the Epic portal. Um, we're just not trained for to do that. So I, it seems I am a representation of uh, other community members. Um, there is concern that uh, as a historically agricultural zoned area, that this could very well open the door for similar explorations and permits on a commercial level. Our main concern is that this area would involve evolve far further from something that would be a land that serves its people. And, and as Noah mentioned, an exploitation of this quiet, isolated, arguably sacred space. Um, imagine this area that was once occupied by historic sugar agriculture and founding community turning into a space known for these metal structures. Instead of an organic Mamaki tea farm, which is actually thriving uh, these days, grazing cattle and agricultural stimulation that exists today, um, it, it could be something that what looks like has happened on South Point Road or Upper Road, this road between, uh, we call it Upper Road, in between Pahala, um, Pahala and Na'aleu, where similar satellite structures have been placed. Are now sites for uh, gawking, you know, where other uh, uh, travelers, tourists, locals come to see and disturb the, the local area. You know, we, we pride ourselves in being able to be diligent in our work. Um, we are in a very isolated space, so we're vulnerable to um, to vandalism and theft. Uh, there's been a previous permit that has taken place, or an application that was taking place last spring, uh, that was denied by the commission due to public concern. Uh, we weren't able to get as many uh, constituents involved in contesting because of the time of the year that it was placed, and the sign was hard to notice on the side of the road. Uh, the last conclusions of the past, uh, the recommendation of the planning department for the same issue proposed that it would not promote the effectiveness of the object objective chapter 205. Stephen, I'm sorry, you have 30 seconds. Maybe. Thank you so much. Um, the request would be contrary to general plan of Ka'u community development plan that has been historically placed within this area. Uh, it will work against preservation of important agricultural land elements that I can list but do not have time to. Uh, it would also, and this it involves with policy 38, to reinforce existing protections and, and to create uh, areas where economy can be created within this agricultural zone, and it will adversely affect the surrounding properties. I, my family owns uh, about 50 acres in Wood Valley uh, on North Road, almost directly across the street from where this proposed project is. Um, I want to register my opposition to this project for a couple of reasons that may be uh, not exactly in line with the other people who had the opportunity to speak here today, but also just, um, you know, things that are important to us. Um, for one, uh, being across the street and um, having our property go up the hill from that area, we would be able to see 
the satellite dishes and the shipping containers from our location. Um, just aesthetically, it doesn't, it's not aligned with the existing agricultural heritage of the area. So we are quite concerned with the, you know, with, with this is the aesthetic impact. I know that we're, they will be trying to cover the um, area from the road. So it won't be quite visible from the road, but it is, is visible from um, some of the locations ac uh, across the street. Um, another really important thing that I wanted to register is that when we, he when we heard um, Dr. Chen speak about the project, he said the main reason they selected this area is because of the lack of, of cell service and the la lack of, of existing radio waves and signals in the area. I understand completely. I am fully in support of science, but I just am opposed to having this in this area in part because it precludes any sort of advancement in terms of bringing cell service to the area in the future. Currently, there is there is no cell service there. You've tried Verizon, AT&T, different, different services. You can't get cell service, which means in an emergency, you can't contact um, the outside world. We're also very subject to vandalism and theft on our property. Personally, we've had a, a lot of items stolen um, and bringing more awareness to the area and bringing more visitors, I think will increase the prevalence of that. Um, so that's all I have to say. Thank you so much for hearing me. Um, and I hope that you deny this project.